first bout in the heavyweight division scheduled for 10 rounds 27 year old frank sanchez unbeaten at 12 and 0 going up against the 39 year old victor biz ball it is time for the introductions to the ring we go jimmy lennon jr Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the Armory here in beautiful Minneapolis, Minnesota, as Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming your way. It's Fox PBC Fight Night, brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. And we extend a special welcome to the brave men and women serving around the world and joining us on the American Forces Network, AFN. Introducing our judges at ringside for this bout, presented by TGB Promotions and Warriors Boxing. We have Mike Fitzgerald, Robert Hoyle, and Patrick Morley. All right, fans, here we go in a battle of heavyweights scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing orange trunks with blue trim, fighting out of Salinas, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 275 pounds with a record of 23 wins and three losses. He has 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the Puerto Rican Olympian and hard-hitting heavyweight introducing Victor Bisbal. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing red, white, and blue trunks fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Guantanamo, Cuba. He weighed in at 220 pounds, undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 12 wins, no losses, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the highly decorated amateur star and former Cuban national heavyweight champion, introducing the undefeated Frank, the Cuban Flash Sanchez. And a referee in charge now to give instructions, Celestino Ruiz. Fight fair, fight clean, protect yourself at all times, let's go. The unified rules, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count, fighter cannot be saved by the bell, referee or doctor can stop the fight, no decision if an accidental foul stops the fight before four rounds. 27-year-old Frank Sanchez from Cuba, now living in Miami, came to the United States three years ago, and in the orange trunks, the 39-year-old Victor Bisbal, who has fought only 61 seconds over the last three years. That was last December, only five fights for Bisbal over the last seven years. Just underway in the heavyweight division, scheduled for 10 rounds. Frank Sanchez came out with a good right hand there in the first round. He means business with this fight. And then we saw another right from Sanchez. Sanchez in the red, white, and blue shorts. Yeah, Sanchez, is, he whistled that right hand. We both saw that, and you caught it. He just caught this ball with a good left hook. Look, this ball's not a bad fighter. He just hasn't been fighting regularly, and... Uh, you know, he, he doesn't look in good shape at all. He weighed in at 275 and a quarter Frank, pounds. Step back, step back. That's Corpus, 55 Corpus. pounds heavier than Frank Sanchez, who weighed in at 220. 220 is a great weight to be boxing, stop, and, stop, and for the stop, size stop, stop, of stop, stop, uh, Sanchez right, as well. Right, right, you know, it, right, it, oh, yeah, it gives him a lot of staying in power throughout the, throughout the rounds that are coming up. So a 55-pound weight differential, a 12-year a age differential. Bisbal at 39, stop, 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 stop. and Sanchez at 27 stop, stop, stop. years of age. 
Yeah, you can see Sanchez is going for broke even in the first round here. But this is the way he fights, so you know, watch some tape on him. Every stop, stop, round stop, stop, stop. is the same. Look, 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 he look, keeps look, going for broke. He throws power in each hand all the time, every punch. And it's not like Bisbo is going to move out of the way. No. You know, he's got too much weight on him right now to really be moving stop, around stop, the ring. Stop, stop, stop. Well, it, believe it or not, Lennox, even when he was thinner, he still was the type of guy that would walk you down. Because, look, he's a big guy. And uh, he would walk you down. That's just his nature, is to come at you. So, uh, but on the other hand, Sanchez, oh, just landed a great right hand. He's yeah. the type of guy who's got some good movement. He'll, he'll use lateral movement. He'll use head movement. And it, he'll box if he has to. We mentioned the inactivity of this ball. Only one fight over the last three years. Sanchez fought 10 times in 2018. <laughs> 40 seconds remaining in round one. Scheduled for 10 here in Minneapolis. Excellent start for Frank Sanchez. Bisbal, he's got to be going through some ring rust right now. You know. Oh, nice right by Bisbal. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. No, look at it. No, look at it. Yeah, that was a nice right hand he, he uh, caught Sanchez with, but I don't know how many more he's going to land like that. Time winding down in round one. Scheduled for 10. Welcome back to the Armory in Minneapolis. Round two scheduled for 10. In the heavyweight division, Frank Sanchez and Victor Bisbal. Bisbal in the orange trunks fighting in the United States for the eighth time. He was an Olympian, represented Puerto Rico back in 2004. Ooh. That was a little bit of a purpose punch with that left hand hit. Uh, no, Bisbal hit uh, Sanchez low on purpose. Even though Sanchez was leaning on his neck, no, and no, pushing no, him no. down, stop, 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 stop. he still stop, gave him a little stop, reminder, stop. you know, don't do not do that. Yeah, if, I was, do that. if I was in Sanchez's corner, I would be telling him to settle down a little bit, punch through the body, you know, open him up with the jab a little bit, get, get moving with my jab, and before throwing those right hands. Stop, stop, stop. He, has, yeah. he has a lot of time, you know, he should get moving with that jab, not looking for that knockout straight away. No, you're right. I, I, I just don't know if Sanchez is going to allow him to take his time because, you know, Sanchez is a very active guy and he's going to force the issue here like he's doing right now. And, you know, I, I just think that Bisbal is going to have to really land a well-placed shot to maybe try to hurt Sanchez here. But I don't know how many combinations he's going to be, be able to rip off to his body. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a, it, 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 in theory, though, it's exactly right. Another Sanchez just landed a good right. Yeah, hand. another strong right by Sanchez, who was unbeaten. His last fight took place right here at the Armory back on July 13th, the second round knockout of Jason Bergman. Midway through round two, scheduled for 10. Yeah, the referee, by the referee Celestino Ruiz. You're telling him to pull up his trunks. Yeah. He's going to lose his trunks. That's exactly right. And well, they should. That never happened to you, Lennox, did it? No, no, no. I wasn't that big. <laughs> oh, left and in. Sanchez comes back with a, a right hook. Sanchez throws a mean right hand. I love that right hand. There's a left and then a right from Sanchez. Yeah, that's the right thing, what he's doing. Go to the body a little bit. Bring down Bisbal's hands. A little bit before throwing that right hand, left, right, and hook. No, 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 no. Down to 40 seconds remaining in round two in Minneapolis. Sanchez with 10 career knockouts in 12 pro battles, all oh, coming in the first or second round. You know. Baseball, you, you could tell if this guy was in shape and he, he'd be a little bit quicker because he's really got some good skills. He's trying to time that right hand. He, he actually touched Sanchez with the right hand as they were both exchanging at the same time. So. Well, I've actually watched Bisbo fight before, and he's got good head movement when he, when, when he comes into the fight. Oh. That will do it for round two. And here you see 
Sanchez coming with a powerful left jab, which Bisbal took right on the chin. And he can take these punches, but I don't know for how long. This is round three, big right by Sanchez. Power punch has landed. Sanchez with 20. Bisbal only seven. Sanchez has landed 48% of his power punches over the first two rounds. And you see Sanchez, what he's trying to do right now is because Bisbal is looking for that right hand. Every so often, those are good body shots by Sanchez. He's looking to start with a with a lead left hook. And he's done it about two or three times, but he hasn't really been successful with it, but he's looking to land that as well. See, Sanchez can, can actually fight from the outside. He doesn't really need to get that close. He has enough mobility that he can just stay on the outside and pick him apart. No, 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 no. Well, there you go again. So every time they get in close and Beesball puts his head down, Sanchez leans on him. And, and Beesball did it again. He, he, he touched him right you know, low again, way low, on purpose. Oh, good right body hand. shot with the right hand by Sanchez. Break, break, break. Team Corporate, Team Corporate, break. His ball from Puerto Rico. He has a degree in physical education, also operates a mechanics workshop with his brother in Puerto Rico. And as we mentioned, coming into this bout, had fought only 61 seconds over the last three years. You know, it, it's true. He's been out of the out of the ring and uh, out of shape here. But I got to tell you, you can tell he's got some skills, and that's why he was a top amateur and, and for the most part an unbeaten pro for quite a while. Right. He he's got started his career skills. at 21 and yeah. one. Was an Olympian. Won bronze at the Pan Am Games back in 2003. Well, you got to be good to do that. So. And look, he's, he, he, he made some nice little slips break, break, and slides break, 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 underneath the punches of Sanchez right there. I know. Again, yeah, Sanchez just settled down a little bit. If I was in his corner, I would tell him to settle down a little bit, work behind that jab, touch him down to the body a little bit more. Another right by Sanchez. Sanchez telling us yesterday he felt that this ball could be dangerous early, but then might run into conditioning issues. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's running in condition issues right now, even footwork issues. The balance of this boy is, is very bad. If you look at his feet, you know, he's all over the place with his feet. And, you know, that just makes it easier for him to get knocked out. All right, here we go. Look, you're going to see some really nice body work right here. Boom, boom. Three, four shots right to the body of Sanchez by Sanchez. You see a good right hand by Sanchez catching Bisbo on the side of the head. Didn't catch him flush, but it was a good punch. Just underway in round four. Sanchez landed a, a fight high, 25 punches in the third round. Schedule for 10 in the heavyweight division. Break, break, break. You know, no matter what, Sanchez has still got to be a little cautious here. I mean, he, he shouldn't throw Gokka to the wind here and just think no, 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 that it's no, no, a one-sided no. fight, which he is winning all the rounds. But I got to tell you something. Beesball threw a nice counter left hook right off the ropes there that, that Sanchez almost walked right into. So he's got to be careful. Uh, Beesball is not throwing combinations. He's just trying to catch him with counters like that. And it may not seem that... Bisbo has that power, but he's got that weight behind right. that punch, which, you know, in essence, there's a lot of power coming That's behind right. that hook. All right, 275 pounds worth, 55 pounds heavier at the weigh-in yesterday than his opponent, Frank Sanchez. No, 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 no. You know, he's talking about Andy Ruiz, how, you know, he went in there and he didn't look the part. But he did look the part, especially when he boxed uh, Anthony Joshua. He, was, he weighed about 265, and break, 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 when he, he hit he corporate, Anthony so Joshua, it was 265 uh, pounds coming behind that punch. A lot of people didn't know that. They were looking at him and saying, ah, he didn't seem like he could throw a hard punch, but he can. Our main event later tonight, Eris Lara and Ramon Alvarez, who came in 
four and a half pounds overweight at the weigh-in yesterday, so he cannot break, win a belt break, tonight. Break, 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 break. And then Alvarez, following the weigh-in, gained 19 pounds in one day. Lara put on 16 pounds since yesterday afternoon. There's another nice counter right hand by Sanchez right there, but I got to tell you what's happening a lot is every time they get in close, the referees on one side, on the other side, you'll see Beesball reach down and hit him in the leg, hit him low, uh, low blow in the cup. So he's he's getting a little dicey on there. Well, he's trying. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to slow him down a little bit. Yeah, it, it's just uh, aggravating uh, Sanchez a little bit. I mean, the expression on his face because it was right in front of us here, but I've seen uh, Beesball do it at least four times now. Sanchez in control over the first three rounds. 20 seconds remaining in round four. Now, I will tell you, as a trainer, I'd be screaming from the corner to tell the referee that he better be looking for that and not miss it. Oh, big right. Oh, yeah, Sanchez. That, was a, that was a great right. Stop, 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 stop. Four down, four down. Break, 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 break. Cinco, cinco, cinco. You got one. Back in Minneapolis, this falls corner has stopped the fight. So Frank Sanchez raises his record to 13 and 0. Yeah, Frank Sanchez was a bit too much for baseball. The way how he was throwing the punches, and Bisbal was right there. He was just taking everything, and you know, it's yeah. just a matter of time. Even that last round, he walked back to the corner. He was stumbling. Oh, big time! Big so time. I don't think he could have made another round. No, he was still hurt from that. And it's, right now. it's a yeah. situation of you know being in shape. You got to be in shape for these fights. He's way over. So the 39-year-old Victor. This ball suffers the fourth defeat of his professional career. Sanchez told us yesterday he'd love to fight Deontay Wilder someday. He continues his push up the heavyweight ranks in impressive fashion. Welcome back to PBC Fight Night on Fox. A look at 21-year-old Sebastian Fundor, the towering Inferno, unbeaten at 13-0, getting set to take on the 24-year-old from Cincinnati, Ohio, the quiet assassin, Javante Clark, with a record of 14-1. and one. Here at the Armory in Minneapolis, Minnesota, following our first bout of the evening, Frank Sanchez and Victor Bisbal. All right, here we go. We're starting off the fight. You know, Sanchez took charge by using the jab, quicker punches, was more aggressive. Oh, yeah, you see a good right hand by San Sanchez. And he was throwing him all night. He's got good explosive power, as you can see right there. Yeah, and, and, and look, even if, if uh, Beesball wanted to do something, he just couldn't keep up the pace. He wasn't in the condition. And, and, the, and the corner did the right thing. They called the ref over and they stopped the fight. Uh, baseball walked back very uh, off balance but back to his corner after that round and I'm glad Frank, quite frankly they stopped look at the total punches landed and thrown Sanchez landing 70 punches 37 percent this fall 21 percent power punches thrown and landed as well to the ring for the decision Jimmy let it Ladies and gentlemen, upon request of the corner, our referee in charge, Celestino Ruiz, stops the contest at the end of round number four. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, the Cuban Flash, Frank Sanchez. 